not the limit, it's the goal! to choose the right altitude, airspeed, and attitude to get himself and his wingman, John Fokker, through he gets it in about 90 degrees worth of bank and just absolutely awesome stuff. You know what I saw out there? What you saw? I saw a bird taking flight lessons from Rob Holland. <laughs> I saw it with my own eyes. Uh, now let's get Watt ready as Rob gets ready to tend the hands of Rob Holland. <laughs> Freestyle record, look at this, tumbling the airplane while gaining altitude and then twisting into a torque roll, shifting backwards, rolling the aircraft back on its tail and then down, straight down. This is only a teaser, it's a little bit about 20% of what you're going to see later on today during his full act. He is the hope of America, along with other great team members we have to bring home the gold, silver, and the bronze from world competition this year. It's held only every other year. It's always in a different host country, and we are looking for the talent of guys like Rob Holland to bring home the victory again for us. And I tell you what, Rob, you're freestyle, consecutive freestyle championships that have never been set before. That's Rob Holland, and this is Rob Rocker. And he is, Rob Holland is the current. Watch him as he goes upside down and flips the tail over the nose, the forward flip. Now, Rob Holland is the current United States Unlimited Aerobatic Champion six times, I believe. Six times in a row, it has never been done before. And three times in a row, the world freestyle aerobatic champion. It's never been done before. Nobody does it better. Watch Rob Holland now. He throws the tail around and does a pinwheel. He is doing things to the airplane that 30 years ago people didn't even believe could be done in an airplane. It is, it is with a tremendous amount of new technology, very light materials, very expensive materials, but not flimsy. Rob Ryan. That carbon fiber, that Kevlar, those very lightweight and strong materials combined with an over 350 horsepower engine enables the airplane to do this. Not just any engine, but makes it stand still or park in the air. Look at that. Rob Holland says, I gotta pull over here and take a little breath. Okay, now, I got everything cinched up again. It is an American engine. It's a light moving engine built in Williamsport, Pennsylvania since 1929. They have built American engines, built by American technicians, and sent those airplanes and those engines around the world. Rob Wright, on the ground with me, to 